it's going to be up on our website or up online really soon. But that was really fun. It was just it was really quirky and really different, and really um, stylized. Like we had, you know, where it was in like a space, like a Darth Vader, Lady Gaga, unicorn outfit. He was a David Koresh cult leader. He was a, a superstar, uh, like a superhero. You know, we did all these fun things. And, I say that was fun, you know. The, the, it seems like the stuff we're doing now is a lot more. Um, it's it's fun for us because right. we're not like we don't have this big label spending all this money and all these people like running around trying to get every dang thing you know perfect and right. It's like we just kind of have fun with it. And I think when you don't give a fuck and you do something because you're because you just want to do it or you need to do it or you have to do it. It, it always turns out better. Every song we've ever recorded and just been like, hurry, let's do it, let's just do it, let's hurry, that's good enough, that's good enough. I look back and I go, that's, that sounds like me. And that sounds like you. Right. And that sounds, you know, like we didn't try so hard. Mm -hmm. So I think, I'd say, you know, the newer videos have been a little more close to what. So have you guys come uh, up with the concepts by yourself for the newer ones? Yeah. yeah. Um, we kind of scrub uh, uh, to, uh, sorry, we just sort of scribble down and jot down mm -hmm. some ideas. like drop a little little storyboard of how we want it and whether we have somebody working with us a director give it to them sort of go back and forth and write trees so. there's Jeff and there's Jeff and um so what's the best thing about it's definitely a little kids one Touring so far. Like anything in particular you stand out like, oh my gosh, we went by besides seeing Jeff on a unicycle. Um, what's been the coolest thing in tour? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, sure. I guess, I, I don't know, I would say. Yeah, come on right now. Um, I'm trying to think just just say, get You know, just just looking out at the fans, I mean, uh -huh. that's honestly the best thing. It's like it's seeing, cool. seeing people smiling and crying and getting so excited. And, I mean, that's honestly the coolest thing, because everything else is sort of static in a sense. I mean, being around each other is, is, is great, that we have, we can all be friends and everything, but it's, it's just really cool, to, you, you know, to always still look out in the crowd and see people mm -hmm. singing along, so. We can't return either, I gotta keep going. So, um, so, if you could, like, record a song with any artist, living or dead, who would it be, and why? Um, it would... I don't know. I mean, these, I, these are the things. That, I mean, I would record. A, I would love to do a song with, say, um, like Dave Newton from Minus the Bear. I think he's a great guitar player. I'd love to do. I mean, Living or Dead. I mean, that's you know, I'd have to. You know, a huge door for you. It's of course. You know, I'd love to sit down at the piano with John Lennon. You know, that would be amazing. I mean, um, I you know, it would be great to me. You know, to to be able to collaborate or work with. I mean, honestly, anyone. Right. <laughs> I have so many influences and so many things that have inspired me, so I mean. Um, Speaking of influences, who are your biggest music, musical influences? Um, for me, I guess what really inspired me, uh, I started out listening to classic rock and there's all that, and I listened to all that, but then I mean, it was bands like Face to Face and No Effects and Jimmy World, The Get Up Kids, um, uh, you know, a lot of punk rock and emo stuff, Sunny Day Real Estate, Jawbox, Burning Airlines, Jets of Brazil, that Discord scene, those bands were really, really influential to me, Ink and Dagger, uh, Ink and Dagger's one of my favorite bands, once I like clicked into it and I understood it, you know, I was, I was young, I was like 16 or 17 at the time, it's that kind of sound that I love. I love the sloppiness. I love the dis, uh, you know, the dissonance, yeah. and I love the tight rhythm, and the, the, just the jazzy sort of jazzy rock um, arrangement, that kind of stuff. So those are those, those are things that have influenced me over a long period of time. But now, I mean, it's all over the place. Like I love everything from I love all kinds of I love you know bubblegum pop, top forty rap crap 